Hey everyone, I'm Sabrina, and in this video I'm going to test the new multimodal ChatGPT 4.0. I'm going to upload it, this image of me and my two doggos. The one at the top, her name is Hugs, she's about two years old. The one at the bottom, he's a puppy, his name is Bubble, he's just turning eight months. And so I'm sitting here on a picnic table, you know, backyard in the background, mountains in the background, and I'm going to ask ChatGPT to convert this image into a text description and then recreate the image using the text description. So the first thing I'm gonna try is a very naive prompt. I'm simply gonna ask ChatGPT to analyze the image, produce a description, and then convert that description back into an image. Um, your first task is to create a detailed description of this image. Your Second task is to generate an image from the description. And for clarity, I'm just going to call description D. Okay, not bad. Uh, there's a mountain in the background, a picnic table, uh, two dogs, and Santa Claus pajamas, which is what I was wearing, and colorful sunglasses. So it's not bad for the first image. Uh, next one I want to try is meta prompting. So instead of my naive, really simple prompts, I want ChatGPT to generate a prompt and see if that's going to help make the uh, generated image closer to the original. So here I'm going to start a new session and I'm going to say, ChatGPT, you are an expert prompt engineer. Create a detailed prompt that will take an image, uh, produce a detailed description of the image, which can then be used to recreate the image in its entirety. Let's see. I don't think that makes any difference. All right, so ChatGPT. Nice. It's given me a pretty detailed prompt to use, including the scene and setting, foreground, background, lighting, atmosphere, people, and animals, and additional details. So let's copy and paste this into a new chat and see if this meta prompt works better. Now uh, here's the meta prompt, and then let me upload the image. Doggo. All right. Let's see if this is any better. Okay, so here is the description of the image, super detailed, covering the scene and setting, foreground, the background, lighting, the people and animals. The woman appears to be in her late 20s. Nice. Uh, and then what I'm wearing and things like that. Okay, now I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create an image based on your previous answer. I was wondering if it actually said the position of, yeah, two white fluffy dogs are with her. One dog on the table beside her, the other standing on the ground slightly in front of the table. Ah, look like Samoyeds are similar, that's right. Yeah, they are both Samoyeds. Oh my god. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, the dogs are Samoyeds, that's for sure. I don't think this looks exactly like me, but... I mean, at least she's wearing sunglasses and Santa Claus pajamas. Um, I like how kind of like realistic it it kind of looks, like with the, sh the picnic table shadows and stuff like that. And I do like that it captured the Samoyeds, but I don't think it quite looks like me. Um, all right, so that was meta prompting. And then what I want to do is let's take that same meta prompt, but let's let's apply like a simple chain of thought technique. Let's ask, you know, ChatGPT to take it step by step, take a deep breath and stuff. Okay. So here I'm starting a new chat. I'm going to paste that same meta prompt. And then at the end, I'm going to say, take a deep breath and proceed step by step, step by step. Uh, and then finally generate an image based on the description you created. Okay, let's upload the image again. 
So here we're applying like a really simple meta prompt technique where I tell ChatGP to take a deep breath and just do everything step by step. Take it easy. So let's see if it's any better. Oh, capture details like the word surf on my left sleeve. Uh, black sandals with yellow straps. Was I wearing that? Oh, okay. My socks are yellow. <laughs> it's close. Um, it doesn't mention the Samoya. Oh, here it is. The two dogs are large and fluffy, likely Samoya. It's, that's great. Okay. No signs of clouds. All right. Let's see the image it generates. So again, this is a combination of meta prompting and, oh, and uh, adding a little chain of thought. <laughs> Um, I think it's m missing a dog, so here in People and Animals, it, the description clearly states two dogs that are large and fluffy, um, and Samoyeds. This generated image only has one dog, and even though it's white and fluffy, it is not quite a Samoyed. Um, the person looks a little closer to me though, and you know, I think the mountains also are a little bit more realistic then. So I'm gonna actually take the same meta prompt and then add an extra instruction for ChatGPT 4.0 to focus on the subject and background separately. Okay. Well, let's put it here. So let's ask it to first identify the subject of the image. Um, second, identify the background of the image. And then be sure to include a lot of detail about the subject and the background separately. Kind of see what it's thinking. Oh, <laughs> all right. I mean, I. <laughs> I mean, there, there's a picnic table. I think the, the background here is probably the most accurate out of all of them so far. So just ignoring me and the dogs for a second, like we have the picnic table, wooden, single color, uh, gray color. You have like the black fence with a little bit of detail, uh, the tree past the black fence, and then, you know, it's mountains in the background, it's, it's snow capped mountains in the background. So I think the scenery is actually pretty good here. The subject, I mean, it's, it's not bad at all. If I was wearing yellow socks, I was wearing black sandals. Um, but, you know, the dogs, unfortunately, not Samoyeds either. They were definitely not wearing Santa Claus sweaters. Uh, I'm curious if it actually mentions Samoyeds, if it got the breed again. No, I don't think so. It just says both dogs are fluffy and appear well-groomed. So, fortunately, wrong doggos. I want to see, though, if I can fix this image. Like, I already like the scenery. Maybe if I could just fix maybe the dogs, then then that would be interesting, right? So this technique, I guess, would be called interactive prompting. So given a result we already have, ask ChatGPT to kind of just iterate on the same result. Um, so here, let's try replace the two dogs with two Samoya dogs. They shouldn't be wearing a sweater. Um, both are white and fluffy. Let's see just that if that works and then we can try to change the positioning of the dog if that works. So yeah, I have one dog here up on the table and then the other one is below the table. All right. Oh, I, uh, it kept it, it didn't keep the background. Oh no, I mean the dogs look more accurate, but it didn't keep the background. So let me let me actually try changing this prompt. Keep the background and scenery exactly the same. Only replace the two dogs. Let's see if if that works to generate something better. Oh, I mean. The background changed quite a bit, but the dogs are much closer. I mean, we have one on the table, like basically in my lap, and the other one all, almost down there underneath the table. I don't know why the table changed from like a picnic table with two benches to a picnic table like with a square wrapped all around. 
And still the background and scenery, uh, unfortunately, changed. It did not stay exactly the same. So I'm not sure. It's kind of hard to, like, I guess, iterate on it and change only one element because it does seem like a bunch of other things are changing at the same time. So one thing I want to try, since I think this was the best image so far, is I'm actually going to take the description that generated the image and then ask ChatGPT to add more detail on the parts that it got wrong. So let's take this. I'm going to start a new chat. Copy paste it here. All right, okay. so you will be given a photo and a description of the photo. Your task is to add more, is to expand on the description with more detail. Um, focusing on, so the areas it got wrong were the two dogs, so the two dogs in the photo, and what the subject is wearing in the photo, because it kind of messed that up as well. Okay, so I'll say description starts here, and then upload the photo. Let's see if that works. So again, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to take the description that generated the best image so far, and then have ChatGPT enrich that description further, focusing on the things it kind of got wrong in the description. So it didn't have quite enough detail about the two dogs, how they were positioned, the breeds of the dogs, and it didn't have that much detail on like what I was specifically wearing and how my posture was as well. Okay, so here this is basically an expanded description, what I'm wearing. All right, it's got the Samoyed breed, and now let's ask ChatGPT to generate an image. So generate an image based on the expanded description. I'll say on this, that helps. Oh my gosh, there's like a foot all the way at the bottom. Um, so she's missing a foot, it's underneath the table. But uh, yeah, I don't know why this photo is like so much worse. Um, I'm actually just going to try to regenerate it and see if it produces something similar. Not bad, yeah, we definitely don't have like all that other backyard furniture, but it's got the two fluffy white dogs. Doesn't quite have like my pajamas correct or even like what I'm wearing correct. Um, but not bad, I don't know. I think so far still my favorite is this one except for the dogs. So I'm not sure how to fix that though. This one has the cutest dogs for sure, but the, the background doesn't seem like that much of a match. One last thing I want to try is I want to take this meta prompt, uh, but actually ask ChatGPT to analyze the image in different like uh, quadrants. We'll, we'll do like a grid of nine or something. So, you will be provided an image. Your task is to break down the image into a grid of nine equally sized separate images. For each image, finally, uh, then I want to ask it to like piece all the images together. Um, now that I'm thinking it through, I, I might need to be like way more specific on how to order that grid, but uh, we have to break down the image into a grid of nine. Finally, generate, Im generate a, full, uh, a full image by generating an image for each grid and then piecing them together. Ew. I don't like how vague and ambiguous that sounds. Uh, for each separate grid and the let's 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 just see how it does. Yeah. Okay. So here, it's divided the image into a grid of nine equally sized image. 
Each grid has descriptions for its details, central top portion. It says which part of the image it is, the top right section, the middle left section. It's not a lot of detail per grid, so I am curious like what it's going to piece together. It could be a Frankenstein kind of image. All right, now it's generating each of the grid images, and then it's going to piece it together. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so it's it's it basically created a, a literal grid of nine images, and then each item in that grid, like I guess, emphasizes a different part of the original image, uh, which is really cute. I mean, this would make like really cute canvas art somewhere in, in my house, but uh, not not quite what we're looking for, unfortunately. Um, so far, I mean, this is a top result as well. Um, I love this one too. Oh my god, they're so fluffy. Um, I think I still think this one is the closest. It's just the dogs are not right at all. And so again, this one was generated with a combination of meta prompting and then chain of thought, just by asking ChatGPT to take a deep breath and proceed step by step. So thanks for watching. Uh, that's pretty much it in my attempt to convert an image to text description and then recreate it from the text description itself. And I think it's a really interesting problem because one of the questions is how lossy is that text description layer, right? So when you convert the image to a text, how much information are you losing in that process? So it's really interesting to see the images generated from the text and like what information was kind of easy to translate versus what information is hard to translate. So for example, like whenever the description contained references to Samoyeds, then the dogs came out, you know, pretty well, pretty accurate. Um, when the description contained like detail about this black fence in the background, that also came out really well, for example. But it's interesting, like other things it loses, like details about what I'm wearing, um, like the color of my socks, things like that. Details around like the picnic table itself. Like I've never seen a picnic table like this, for example. And so it's, it's just like weird that it produces that. I, I don't know where it got like this tree that has white flowers on it. So I'm, not, I'm really not sure like how it got that from the source image, but really, really interesting uh, experiment nonetheless.